guys, I'm back with another review, and this time I'm doing a review on nail polishes. I know I haven't been wearing nail polishes lately, because, um, I have this thing about polishes. That, like, they're gonna chip, fall in your food, and you're gonna eat them, and you're gonna die. So, yeah. Lately, I've been wearing polishes, so, you know, I'm growing on them little, little by little, but, eh, I'm still worried about that thing I just said. So... The four, so the polishes I'm going to be talking about today are um, three of the Sally Hansen's one and this Maybelline one from the new line. Um, I'm actually wearing this on my finger right now. Isn't it pretty? It's like this nice purpley color. Okay, so I got all four of these at Walmart the other day. Um, yeah, they're on sale. So I'm going to start it off with the two Sally Hansen's ones that were... Um, or, or in the same line or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is Sally Hansen Hard as Nail Extreme Wear Nail Color in Mellow Yellow 360. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Alright, alright. So it's this nice yellowy color. It's like a pastel yellow. It's not like a McDonald's yellow, so it's not ugly, ugly. So it's like this nice little yellow. It's really bright on the nail. So yeah, just be careful what you wear with it. Cause I wore this for a week and I could not wear like you know any dark colors with it without looking weird. <laughs> yeah. So I had this like yellow, really be like nice gray top and I could not wear it with this polish at all. It just looked really weird. I look like a, I look like a clown. That's about it. So yeah, most people don't really wear yellow. I guess it's too, it's too bright for them. Meh, I like yellow. This is like a really nice yellow for me. So yeah, yellow mellow. Okay, so the second polish from the same line is Mint Sorbet um, in 340. Can you see that? Alright. Um, it's this minty kind of greenish color. So mint from the title, as you can tell. Mint Sorbet, mint. Uh, yeah, it's like a pastel. It's like another pastel color. I mean, I'm into pastel colors now. I don't know why. They're in because it's spring. So it makes sense to make pa to wear pastel colors other than dark colors, right? So yeah, not much to say about this. Really nice color. Great for spring. Mm, it's really but it's nice. Alright. Um, the next polish is um, Sally Hansen too, but it's from a different line. It's hard as nails. Um, yeah, this is like an earthy tone, like a darker color than the other two. Um, it's tough taupe. No, it's tough taupe. Okay, five sixty. I don't know if you can see that. It's like really small, and my hand's shaking. No, don't shake. Okay, you can't see that. Whatever. Um, it's a nice taupey, earthy color for like winter or something. It goes well with anything. See if you have like a bright shirt like this and if you wear this it'll definitely tone down your outfit so definitely goes with any outfit you have yeah this was on sale I think it was usually four dollars and I got this for two at Walmart the other day so yeah all right the last polish I have is the Maybelline color show um line that's called iced queen 310 I think this is like from the new line, because I remember Maybelline has like a different like nail polish line though, but this is like a new one. I love their packaging, it's so cute, it's so futuristic, it's so cute, it's so cute. It reminds me of like this and like the Essie nail polishes like combined together, but way cuter, it's so cute. This was like, I think two something, two seventy something at Walmart regular price. Um, their line is really pretty. They have a, a lot of metallic colors. Like, I wanted to get this metallic blue, but I got this instead because I want to try it out. Um, yeah, I have it on my nails right now. It's just really nice purpley, bluish color. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot something. Um, yeah. Yeah. For chipping for all of these, um regular four to five days a week I guess if you use like the proper top coat um yeah I don't really have top coat so they chip really easily if you don't use a top coat at all um yeah for 
for all of them being opaque, I'd say. Two coats to get the color if you like really want it. But if you like want the full color, 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 go for three coats, maybe even four. Um, just to get the full color and everything in the full effect of it. So yeah, for me, I would I like to do three coats because I want the full effect and it takes longer. So you know, it'll I think not chip that easily since it's three coats and it's thicker. I think I don't know. That's what I think. So yeah. Thank you for watching and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Okay, bye!